Hi there, it's Tanya from Tutti Treasures. Hello <coughs> and welcome back. Um, I am today going to do my August uh, design team project for uh, the Digital Collage Club. So if you don't know what the Digital Collage Club is, it's a monthly subscription or um, I think you can pay for, is it a yearly one? and a lifetime membership and you can download their images as much as much as you want i will leave the links in the description so there was some of these lovely um collage sheets so i've just printed them out on copy paper and i've stuck two together so they're like this space be 200 gsm um, and I'm going to make some envelopes. Now, I can't remember which folio it was, but I did do um, the button and string closure. And I'm not that confident with it. So I'm going to force myself to do some. And I thought if I do, you know, four or five all at the same time, um, it might get me, uh, you know, a bit more um, confident with it. So I'm not sure how wide i want these let's just get the the roller out because i'm thinking um envelopes that are going to be stuck on a page or on some kind of flip out so they obviously need to be um a certain size so i'm feeling like five would be a nice size let's have a look at four and a half Let's do a couple. I'll do a couple of four and a half. So that's I'm gonna go that way. I know you can't see all the trimmer and I know the light's shining there, but um there's there's not a lot I can do about it. Um my desk is faces the window, so I have to have well I have, I have the blinds down all the time. Um, so obviously then the room's dark so I have to have the, the ring light on so that's four and a half I'm going to put that in my um, box of you know kind of scraps unfinished things that kind of thing that pile <laughs> that pile what we've all got so I'll do this at four and a half so four and a half Okay, so that's that one. And I'll do these two at five. So that's five. where that leaves us let's see what it's like the other way yeah I prefer that okay <clears throat> just muttering to oneself right I'm going to pause put this away and I shall be back okay so I'm um, all set up so let's have a look at what kind of I think five might be too too wide you know we'll see so if i folded it up i hope it's long enough actually so the bottom can be quite small and we want to not scale on that way yeah i think they're going to be too wide let's have a look at that four and a half so if I have that as the top, I think you're really best doing this with uh, 12 by 12, aren't you? That would probably be okay. So that's, um, so I'll measure it in a tape just to give you an idea. I started off with A4 paper and then I had to trim it round to take the borders off. So that would have took a little bit 
uh, more off and then I've obviously cut it um, this one into four and a half so this flap is just over three and a half and that one's two and a half so I kind of like that let's um surround these corners and see what see what that looks like yes I'm quite happy with that so let's go to the other one I don't like that side. So I said two and a half, didn't I? So I'm not doing it exact. So that's that. Um, that's all that. Is that right? Yeah, I must have got that one a little bit higher, but that's fine. So we'll do the around the corners on that one. So yeah, that'll be fine. Right, let's have a think about these ones. So, I want these. So, there's more gap uh, between, because I'm going to do two different kinds of, of closures. So, let's have a look at that. So, these are the five inch um, wide ones. Probably gonna just have to trim it, trim it up in the in the trimmer. <coughs> trim it up in the trimmer. <laughs> Good have thought it, eh? Right, let's just trim that down. I think that side's okay actually. Let's um, check the roster. Mm. So I'll just get that again. So I'm kind of wanting to do these ones inside as well. Come on. I have to nip that with my scissors. Okay, so that's that. Um, let's have a look at this one. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go do these ones. Okay, I'll just leave that there in case I'm... <coughs> I've done... Yeah, I've done that one. That just wants that and that. Okay, let's just have a quick measure of this. So that bottom, the top flap is two about two and a half just over two and a half and the bottom one's just over three so <clears throat> well, that's that one so i think okay there it's not about the same yeah ish i wanted to get some of that stamp in then let's bring that one up do that there. Yep, I don't think that's straight. Could obviously do it on the scoreboard if you want to be, um, you know, a lot straighter. Oh, let's check this before I start cutting. No, that one's perfect. Well, I won't say perfect, but <laughs> you know what I mean. It's not visually wonky. <laughs> right, so that's all that bit done. Okay, I'll put this away and we'll do the two smaller ones first. So if they are four and a half, that means the two and a quarter is the middle. So 
I'm just going to get my pencil and two, did I say two and a quarter? So I want this one right at the bottom. So two and a quarter there. Okay, in fact, let me put a hole in it now. Which ones? That one is in tight, yeah. So that's going to go in there. <coughs> Let's have a look at this. So two and a quarter. That's good there. So I must remember which one's the bigger one. Okay, so that's the top hole done. And we're going to put some eyelets in the top one. <coughs> So let's get I'll keep picking the the ones that are flower shaped. I don't want a flower shaped one. So I've got two there. Let's um, see if I can <laughs> do this. Yep. Okay. Stay in. Oh, which one goes to the top? That goes to the top. I find this all very, very difficult. Um, I don't know how people manage to hold it and, and get it in. I just, I'm just not at that, at that point yet. Let me do that to a, a bigger one. I might be able to, I think I've lost it. Hold on. <laughs> definitely lost it haven't you <laughs> right so that one's going at the bottom that one's going at the top okay oh okay that was okay oh that drama <laughs> that drama. i think because sometimes it is a bit temperamental and other people have said so too so it can't just be me um, I think now I'm a little bit, oh, is it going to work or isn't it going to work kind of thing. And that worked fine. So that is that. So we've got eyelets in there and here. Let's um, see what I want each circle look like first. <coughs> so we're going to want two for that one and two for that one and if we're putting that there yeah that's okay do you want it a bit higher no there so i want it there Okay, so I'm going to put my, oh now which one was it, the higher one or the lower one? It was the higher one. I'm going to put my, just put a hole in there. Let's do the same with this one. So, I want to it about there. That's it. There, mind your fingers, um, and we're going to stick these two together. That's got a little bit. Let I me mean, just <coughs> trim that. It's not. It's just not caught it. That's it. Right, we're going to glue these two together. I love these kind of backing papers that are all collage because you get, you know, the the collage but you haven't got the thick the thickness. Oh, 
Oh, come on, get in. Right. So we're going to ink around here. Just ink around it twice. That's that. And this one. And I'm using Walnut Stain because I do find that that shows up a lot nicer on craft than vintage photo and gathered twigs, I would say. So I'm going to ink the top. It's going to be closed. So I ink that one. Ink the top of this one. Now with these being a decent size, you can leave it and have something or have something that way. I'd quite like a, a tag at the back, I think that would look really nice. I don't think I've done that one. Okay, that's that one. Let's do this one. this and that should have give the the glue time to <coughs> um stick together right so pokey tool and i'm gonna try and get the middle we'll say it's there i'm just gonna oh, pop a little hole in same here just find the middle ish i bet you there's somewhere on here that i could do oh look Oh my goodness, don't tell me. No, that wouldn't be the middle. <clears throat> but yeah, and there's probably something on there that, that does sh uh, guide you. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so I'm going to put brads in these ones. Let's have a look. Do I want to put one of there? In fact, I'm going to put some patina on them and change, um, change the colour. Right. I don't know if to put a screw oh, I wish I wouldn't keep dropping things on the floor you know I'm going to put one of these screw ones in I might have to make the hole a little bit bigger Okay, so I've got a screw on it. Have I do it the other way? I've inked that side and then done it the other side. So that's those. They're on my um, Amazon favourite list. They're not Tim Holtz ones. And that one there. <coughs> okay. see that one what's the sound <clears throat> no because sometimes if i don't look first then i forget all about it so pop that through and i'm going to twist it round so so it spreads out that way i'll just press it down that's virtually flat I was going to put some tape over it, but to be quite honest, I think that will be fine. I think that just squashing it down a little bit um, helps. So let's put this one in. Super duper. 
So I am going to glue these down. Did I say ham? <laughs> I ham. Glue those down. My uh, art glitter is melted. I needed to have caught that with the scissors. It was that one that wouldn't <coughs> cut properly in the um, hole punch. So I'll we'll just put that down. Yep. Just going to get the bone folder and just smooth that down. Okay, that's nice and flat. Right, right, let's do this one. <clears throat> Can't see where that. I hope that roller's not shining. I was going to say shining in the sun, <laughs> shining, shining in the um, ring light. And I'll do that. Okay, so that's those. Let's get my pin on. And I've got some um, hemp string, a hemp cord. And I think I would like this chocolate colour. I don't know if this is on my favourites, but I will find it and, um, and put it on there. So, I don't know how much I'm going to need. Not as much as that time. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what that's like. I'll cut two of them at the same time. <coughs> right. So, I'm going to doublet and I've got the you know the double part and I'm gonna put that through there I'm just gonna pull slightly and then that can go round there I wonder I'm just wondering if to actually do it single so if I did it like this and tied it I wonder what that would be like yeah I think that would probably be better I wonder if I could have tied it so the knot was like through the back. I don't know. I love it so it's there. I'll cut that one off in a minute. <coughs> so, probably could have done with being just a little bit higher, which I can do that. Because remember, it's going to be stuck down, so it doesn't matter that. Um, there's two creases in there. Right, what does matter is, is that it's not straight at all. Right. So, yeah, I think that's better. Okay. Let's um, get that bone forward right again. So, I still want it quite close, but not as close as, as what I had it. Oh, come on. So, that's that. I'm thinking, do I need to, like, put some glue on, on that knot? So, that's going to wind around like so. And then I was going to bead... Um, 
something on it. Let's have a look what it looks like if it looks if it looks daft I don't have to don't have to do that but I don't know how I'm gonna get the string through. I've got a big hold be big hold big hole hole bead here. I don't know if I like it or not. I wonder what a charm would look like on it. Make sure that's shot before I turn it over. Wondering what. I didn't think I was going to be able to get that three. I have got some wire somewhere. Oh. No, let me, let me get me a little piece of wire. Oh, but I can't find it now. I saw it yesterday. Uh -huh. Right, let me just pause and organise myself. Okay, I've got my wire. So all I did was it's just a thin piece of wire. Just fold it in half like that. I put the string inside it. Like so. Just straightened that up, poked that through the hole of the charm and then pulled it through. So that's what I used to do when um, oh, I've, put, I've put the charm on the wrong way. Shall we Shall we do it again? Right, so we put the string in, like so. Now, I'm not going to... Okay. So that's that. I don't think I'm a great lover of this idea, but it's an idea. So, not again. Then that, that's quite chunky then but so yeah I quite like it yeah yeah I think I prefer it like that not even wound wound round but I think then that's probably too too low probably just needed it higher and I've double knotted it let's have a look I've done one knot let's pull it in a little bit more to about there yeah that would be good it's just going to be difficult to <laughs> to do a knot with it being so close okay and again lovely cut that off Yeah, that slides better. Yeah, I like it now. And then that could, I mean, it depends how low you down you add it in your book. I mean, if you add it higher, then it won't hang out. But yeah, you could have it hanging, hanging out. So that's that one. <clears throat> I have to call this string off and I don't really need it, do I? So this one, if I go in 
that way can have the knot to the under to the back which it will be a lot better yeah that's better so that looks a lot more tidy that will then go like that okay does anybody know where me where my bit of wire is aha it is here then on this one we'll have a leaf so again if your wire gets too bumpy kind of thing then you have to get get a new piece of of wire so i'm just straightening it back out okay and put a string through like so i don't know if it matters what side this is and there we go let's take that wire off Oop. keep that in there actually then love that about there That's it. Yes, I much prefer that. Now you've not got that messiness of the, of the knot there. Um, it, it looks a lot better. So I'm only going to put one knot in this if I can get through it, and then yeah, if I perhaps. And just put some glue over it maybe that'll maybe it will maybe it won't so that is those two yeah like that okay now where's the other two here we go now on these ones i'm gonna do um you know string closure top and bottom so that's some um, ink. I'm gonna pause actually why I ink um because otherwise we won't have no time for decorating. Um this is not a tutorial, this is obviously a craft craft with me. I am just trying to get over. I think this things that, that we all find I don't know, not difficult, tricky more than anything. Or sometimes you just can't make sense of, of how something works. Um, and for me, the, the, the string closure is, um, I find it just quite daunting. But I absolutely love the look of it. Um, so, and I want to include it a lot more. And I thought, well, I'm not going to learn it if I don't keep doing them. So... Oops. here we are <laughs> and this is why we're here today uh, but yeah obviously I need to keep keep having a go at them so I thought if I have a play with them hopefully I'll feel more at ease with them right I'm going to pause now. All I'm going to do is cut out four circles for each one. I'm going to glue them into twos. Uh, I'll wait for them to dry a little bit and then I'll ink around them and then we'll come back. Okay, I'm back. So they're stuck and I've inked around them. I've got the roller arse again. I think I've still got the pencil. So it was these five, yeah. So we want to go two and a half. So let's... I think I want <coughs> that, not middle-ish, but middle-ish. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I know what I mean. So, there. Yeah. So, that would be there. And I would have that one there. Do I want it lower? Or do I want that higher? No, I don't want it higher. Oh, decisions, I think there. So, if we go 
there. So another lock. Yeah, that's fine. Right, so I'll stop through those two. One. Minding fingers. And get the middle of those. Okay, let's do this one. So two and a half is that there. Yeah, that's fine for that one. Then that there. So I'm just following that dot down. Yeah, that's okay. So that one just gonna go a little bit higher that's that okay so that's done the rolling top need to no I don't need to glue them up yet do it because I want to put that in before I glue it up so some some, some brads just gonna go for some I hope I've not done the holes too small actually uh, too big Same size, yeah. Oh, just stab myself with a brad. No, they're too tiny. Gosh, they're pretty. You know, when you've got all different ones mixed together. Oh, excuse me, but. I shall just rifle through here. Mm, maybe I haven't got any more of that size left. Yes, I have. That one looks a bit small. think I found it <laughs> found one as soon as I turned the camera off yes I did straight away absolutely crazy so <clears throat> I'm gonna pop that through there let's twist it around so that legs go that way let's get that thing just to separate that which I can't don't seem to be able to get Right, that's that, and then we'll give it a press down like so. So that's that one done, and then we shall do this one. Oops. Sorry, I was a bit distracted. Um, I'm filming this probably 10 days before. So Ryan's on work holiday this week, but he's on, it, on his antibiotics. Eleanor's got, well, I'm guessing she's got an ear infection. We've got an appointment for the doctors tonight at five o'clock. So um, he feels awful on these antibiotics so he's been asleep on settee Eleanor's been asleep because she's got bad earache and she's having to have tablets every four hours um so yeah <laughs> it's um everybody's poorly i'm just getting over having that uh, bad throat and and a cold <laughs> so yeah Right, so that's all those in. Super. Why is that now? 
so all I shall do is put that down a little bit. Oh, I don't believe that. It's still that's because I said oh, I'm going to go a bit higher, isn't it? So, what I shall do is I'm going to go a bit lower, and then you're not going to see the hole because it's covered, it'll be covered up. Yeah, that was me going, oh, I'll just go a bit higher. that's that is this the same no that's okay right what am I doing gluing them down yeah so yeah normally obviously in the day when I'm filming I'm at school Ryan's at work so it's a little bit distracting when people are um, people are in and with it being the height of summer I've obviously got <laughs> the craft room door open. Um, if it was winter, I'd have just shut the shut the door. But um, yeah, it's already hot enough in, in here without the door being shut. So sorry if I'm distracted. But I mean, Eleanor's now going to be off for five weeks for the summer holidays. So um, I'm sure she'll be coming and going with friends, and Colin will be barking and <laughs> all the rest of it because. You know, there'll be more kids out, I should imagine, um, on the bikes and people going for walks and stuff. So, yeah, and plenty to keep Colin entertained. Right, I don't know if this one will be long enough, but that was the one that I was left with from the other one. So, I've just got that round. And a knot it. I'm going to bring it round to the bottom and then I'm going to try and knot it again. Yeah. Um, I'll just snip this side off. Okay. And bring it down, bring it up and... Oh, oh bring it down is that enough yeah so that's that one very nice right let's get another one so I gave myself enough to knot it with so knot it there bring it around there and not it. There, cut that bit off, and we'll bring it down. Bring it up. Bring it down, and then we'll cut it off. So that is them. Um, so they made and we'll do a little bit of decorating I'm not going crazy um, obviously <laughs> as if I'd go crazy <laughs> um, I don't know if let's get them all out are we all on screen yeah so I don't I've just pulled a few labels out so I don't know if to Put a, a label there. That yep. was great. So put that 
và no, I don't think that one needs one. bit too same same aren't they maybe what that looks like with that that bit cut I just put labels on two of them. Um, then I had got some stickers out. Um, I was thinking ready for autumn. Oh, I like that. I think the red goes really nice. So that's that one. So that's going to be those two. So that was easy. Um, I've got some pine cones. Quite like that. Let me see once I cut. around it because obviously I don't want it hanging off the the envelope lip I just need to lose some. I'll just cut that bit off. Okay, and then um, this one can go like so. So that's that one. Love it. What shall we do with this one? What about the acorns? Oh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. <clears throat> oh, this is going to be 
Well, I don't know if it will be able to take it off or not. Yeah, I've got it. Easy, easy peasy. It'd not be easy peasy to get it on. Right. That's there. Lift that on. I'll just cut that stem off. Hey, I love that. <laughs> Yeah, very nice. So, that's that one. <laughs> um, and then, I, th I think that's already been inked. Must have got it ready for, for something else. So, we love that. There. got these stickers from from last year I definitely want to get them used up this year I've not bought any more mushroom stickers I thought I'd get, get them all used up oh yeah I like that so that's that one could have had a mushroom charm really I don't know if I've got any oh I thought it took come off then so that's that one and this one, again, I think that's been inked. These are the ones that Heather stamped for me on um, the tea stained manila folders. Yeah, too much, too much, Tanya. Right, so that is is it. Let's um get them out and have a look on the on the wood. So yeah, I'm chuffed with those. So thank you very much for for joining me. Like I say, I I know it was very casual, but um I thought it's a good opportunity to um use the lovely papers from the Digital Collage Club and um yeah do something that I don't feel comfortable doing <laughs> so i'll have to keep keep at it but i think i'm definitely preferring them doing them with the brads um i think it's when i do it the other way um putting the eyelets in but i'm gonna have a go at that another time and see if i can conquer that fear right i'm going i shall see you in the next video bye for now